Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on Vanilla with Sprinkles. And as you can see, we're doing some Procoptodon breeding right here. Um, okay, no, that's the same brown as those. For a second, I was like, wait a minute, but no, it's not mutated. We do have a mutation here though. I've been breeding for a little while, as you may see. I'm not gonna talk about this. Uh, <laughs> so we finally have a mutation here. And uh, I wonder what color it is. I don't know. I think it might be these black stripes in the back here. That could potentially be the mutation. Now, of course, obviously it is this amazing green. That actually looks really, really cool. I really like that. Um, I think our plan here today is to make several kangaroos. I think I want one that's like a battle kangaroo. Um, one, and then maybe like one or two, I think, maybe even three that are gonna be just nurses here at my little kind of breeding shack area. So I'll probably put them into this little pen here because that's where I do a lot of hatching. Um, maybe I'll keep two in there and one in here, I think, or something like that. I don't know, that could be a thing. Maybe you're just two and two. Hmm. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of breeding. Is that, okay, I thought that was blue on the back there for a second, but it's not. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of breeding because I want several different mutated kangaroos, probably with some different colors on each of them as well. Um, and obviously we're gonna have a good few in here and then a good few in here as well, and then a, a battle kangaroo. I, I don't really think you can get much better than a battle kangaroo. Those things are actually really good. With that knockback that they can do with their feet, it's just gonna be insane. So. We're just gonna continue to breed here, and occasionally I will uh, make some of these disappear. Are you mutated? I think you are. Look at you. Look at that color underneath. That's like a brown. Oh, he does have a mutation. Nice. I didn't even notice that. That's cool. All right. Well, uh, I like that. I guess it's it's kind of an odd color. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's. I'm down. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we could find something that suits with that color. We'll see. But uh, we haven't really been having too much luck with the mutation so far. I've been actually going here for a little while as well. Uh, but as you can see, <laughs> like we just really haven't gotten anything. Anyway, we're going to continue here. I'll bring you guys back once we get something amazing. And uh, make sure that you guys hit the like button if you found yourself enjoying this video at any point. And uh, yeah, let's go. God, his beady little eyes look amazing. <laughs> well, 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 look at you. Frickin' purple mutation. Oh man, that looks amazing. We also got this guy a couple minutes ago. It's kind of like a navy on the back, I think. And then we got this guy a little while ago, and he's got, a, got like this full body blue, which I actually quite like. I like this one. It looks really nice, but uh, I wanted to bring you guys back for this purple one. It looks amazing. It's actually been quite some time since I showed off the green one. Let me, do I have all these guys on follow? They're all coming, right? Oh crap, there's another one in there. Ugh. It's not mutated. Well, I don't know if it is, at least. I can't tell. But I gotta close the door before it escapes. There's probably... Oh, he's trying to get out. Oh. There's probably a couple kangaroos around here somewhere. Uh, some of them kind of got out when I was opening and closing the doors. Yeah, it just happens. All right, let's bring these guys over here, though. Into this little pen. This is where I'm keeping all of the good mutations. Uh, unfortunately, the other guy... Uh, what was it? Like a brown mutation? That one actually perished uh, it suffered from a mild case of shotgun to the face so it's it's really sad we held a funeral and everything let's bring you guys over here all right let's hitch you're not hitching are you why aren't you hitching there's a hitching post right there please hitch all right what about the rest of you can you hitch no I gotta pick up and put down this hitching post this happens occasionally I don't know why there's like a bug with the hitching post where just occasionally you'll have to uh, pick it up and put it back down did I not turn that guy off of wander I thought I might have Huh. Are you off of Wander? Pretty sure you are. No, he's not. Okay, cool. Come here. Oh, you know what? Uh, I was gonna say we could just put one of the babies into the pouch. We'll, we'll just leave it. <laughs> it's kind of pointless. He'll just, uh, he'll hop out eventually. Hitching post, please. Work. Please, just, why aren't you working? There we go. What the hell? Alright, come here. Come over here. I know they can hitch from there, but I want them closer. Alrighty, freaking fog and everything. We gotta, we gotta add in that new. The hitching post is like right here. Why isn't it not working? <laughs> oh my god! Hang on, hang on. We're gonna pick this up and we're gonna put it straight back down, and it's gonna, it's gonna work. Why? This is like that's, that's the weirdest thing. There we go. Okay, wasn't that freaking hard? Now was it? Okay. God. All right, we're gonna do this. <laughs> That's so stupid. I don't know why, but occasionally it just bugs out like that. It's kind of strange, but I've never seen it bug out that many times in a row. Like, usually you pick it up once and then it fixes it. Either way, um, 
God, what was I even saying? Yeah. Uh, kangaroos. <laughs> okay, so... I think we're done with the mutations now. I think we're gonna go with this lot that we have. Um, so let me just show you some of them. I don't think you guys have seen these ones. You have seen this bluish one here, the purple one, and then this uh, like navy stripy back one. I also got this cyan one over here, so it has like a cyan underbelly. I got a blue one of the same region. Um, then I have a yellow one of the same region, which is pretty new. We have a red stripy back. Uh, another kind of pinky red stripey back and then over here we have a I think that's like a green or like a mint color or something I'm not I'm not sure anyway it's like a green stripey back as well so we have many different uh, colors to choose from here so in terms of making like the ultimate battle one I kind of want this green with that blue and I'm not sure what type of stripey back I want I don't know, maybe like the navy, because like if I was to put red, like what what color stripey backs do we have actually? We have this greeny one here, we have two reds, and I think that's it. And then we have the navy. So, hmm, maybe this green with the this like blue underbelly and then the navy on the back or something to kind of counteract uh, the bright colors. So, you know, we'd have two bright colors and then one dark color. I think that would look pretty good. So that's like the battle one possibly. Um, in terms of the other ones, I kind of want to go with definitely using this yellow, definitely using this red, but I'm not sure what kind of full body mutation I want with it. We don't actually have too many full body mutations. Maybe I'll have to keep breeding. Yeah, we only have like the two. We have that green and we have this blue here. Hmm. Maybe I'll go with this blue and then the yellow and then the red. So that would be, again, two bright colors and one dark color. Hmm. But yeah, we're definitely going to need some more full body mutations here. We only have two to choose from. They're all going to look the same. Damn it. Ah, Alright. Anyway, I'm going to get to breeding. We're going to breed up that battle one and then that other one that I just talked about at least. Um, and then possibly combine some of the other ones here that I have, like the purple with something. I'm not sure yet though. Alright. Oh my god, the rain. Please stop it. Ugh. Okay, just as I walked in, look what we have right here. We got like a purple one. I think that's purple. I don't know, it's cool looking though. Nice, come here buddy. Do we have any other ones in here? Doesn't look like it, we only have like two or three in here anyway because I just cleared them out a minute ago. Well, that's another mutation guys. We gotta wait for some of these things to grow up anyway, but uh, it's not gonna take too long. Come here so I can move Mystique out of the way. Alrighty, man, you look pretty cool actually. Is this like a blue or a purple? I can't even, really... yeah, I think it's like a purple. I think, possibly, I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna hitch him really quick and do all the stuff and chuck him into the pen. Okay, so we're done with the mutations, I think. I think I'll probably end up doing another one, but uh, yeah, I thought we might stop for now at least because it's kind of doing my head in. <laughs> it's like, there's so many kangaroos, it's ridiculous. Anyway, so let's just kind of go through some of the ones that we have here. So this one is gonna be the battle kangaroo. This one is such a cool color. Honestly, I love the mix of the blue and the green. And I was going to add, what well, what color was it again? Ah, oh, it was something dark. I can't remember. It was like the navy on the top. I was gonna add that in, but uh, it turned out that the blue, the green, and the navy were all females. So obviously, you know, females and females can't make babies. So I bred it with a uh, with the the one with the like kind of, I guess, pinky, reddy stripes. I guess that's what that is. Uh, I bred it with that one and uh, came out like this. And actually, during the breeding, it actually got another mutation on one of the sides, but it was like an orange underbelly and I didn't really like it too much. I liked the blue much better. So we kept with the original plan. Uh, that is like over, uh, it's like over here somewhere. Actually, I could probably show these off. So yeah, this is, this is it here. So you can see it's kind of got like this weird orange underneath. I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest. And then we got this one here, which has got the yellow and then the green on the top. And you'll see that in a second. So, obviously, on to the next one here. This is the yellow and the green. Um, I made that, and then I bred it with the one with the navy kind of all over. And we got this beautiful thing right here. Very, very cool. Uh, and then what do we have? We have this one here. Actually, this is kind of a funny story. This was the original intent. I was going to breed the purple with the red stripes and then the cyan after. But I bred the purple with the red stripes and we got another mutation. It's like, I think it's a red or like an orange or something. I don't know what it is. It's like an orange maybe. It kind of looks orange out in the sunlight here, but it looks red inside. 
Anyway, we got this this guy right here. It's got like the orange underneath, the red stripes in the back, and the purple main body. It looks very, very nice. Very cool. I really like that purple, actually. Oh my god. So cool. Look at you. Alright. And then we, uh, of course, went with the original design right here, and we added in the cyan, and god damn, the cyan looks so cool with this. I'm probably eventually going to come back into here and maybe breed something with that purple one, but I do feel like we need another main body mutation. And uh, I think we're probably just done with the kangaroos for today. Because it's just driving me crazy. They're so fast with their babies, so they're kind of hard to kill. Unless I bring Mystique in. But that thing over there is, like, way too crowded. So, yeah, we're going to leave it at this. But I have a little bit of a, uh, I guess not really a challenge or a competition. But kind of like uh, a little bit of a cool thing to do here. I have named them one... Wait, where's the saddle gone? Oh, no. Where did I put the saddle? Is it on you? I feel like you were the last one that I moved. Is it? It's not on your inventory, is it? Where the hell is the saddle? <laughs> Maybe it's on the cyan one? It might be on the cyan one. Anyway, I've named those kangaroos out there. One, two, and three. And then obviously the battle kangaroo is, it doesn't have a name or a number even. So I want you guys to leave some name suggestions um, for one, two, and three. And then something for the battle kangaroo as well. Now, I probably know that, <laughs> I kinda have a feeling at least that we're gonna get like 20 billion suggestions of like Kangaroo Jack, and I think we could be a little bit more creative than that, guys. So uh, let's let's not leave any of those suggestions. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this. Actually, to be honest, I probably should just move them all around. My inventory is just full of crap, it really is. I could probably like turn them all around and whatnot, but I think I'll just leave it them like this. So these are the breeding kind of kangaroos. They are going to be used to um, essentially just help me with the breeding and everything. They're going to like be there for their pouches to be used and whatnot. And uh, they're just kind of going to sit in this building for a while. So we need names. Take a look at them. and give some pretty good name suggestions down below for one, two, and three. And then something for the battle kangaroo. All right, let's, uh, let's run around this thing for a little while. To be honest, I kind of want to clear up my inventory. Let's head back to our base. Okay, so I've cleared up my inventory and everything, and let's head out on this kangaroo and do some leveling. Man, this thing is cool looking. It really is. I love that blue. Looks so good. Especially with that green. Seriously, very, very nice kangaroo. Holy crap. And I know I keep calling it a kangaroo, but Procoptodon is kind of a little bit more of a mouthful, so... Let's go ahead and kick the crap out of some things. Eh, wait. The pig's gonna run from me, isn't he? Eh, I'll leave him. All right, let's uh, let's see. What do I want to level here? Some health, of course. But for now, I think I might just level melee damage. Battle kangaroo, it is. Okay, where is all the stuff? There's definitely some paraceratheriums over here. Some trikes as well. Nice. They don't do a huge amount of damage, but it's decent. I think this one just has kind of like lowish melee, but I'm not doing the whole stat mutations for something like this. Kind of seems a little bit pointless. And by stat mutations, I mean like trying to get like good base stats on melee and then, you know, breeding melee stats and everything. Ugh, I just couldn't be arsed. <laughs> I really couldn't. <laughs> I kind of just want to have fun at a kangaroo that looks amazing, and this one is the right kangaroo for that job. Yeah. All right, we should probably start biting a little bit. That way we don't have to jump all over the place. And you're dead. Perfect. Okay, let's run up in this direction here. I don't want to really go through the swamp. Hey, look, a Diplo. Can I knock back a Diplo, I wonder? Oh my god, that's a beautiful tape jar. Oh, hey, he's landing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can. We can knock back freaking anything with this thing. Somebody was telling me in my comments that you can actually also knock back Gigas, which I think is just amazing. I'm going to kill this there. I don't want to have to take damage on my armor. There we go. There is can damage the player's armor, which sucks. But uh, yeah, you can knock back Gigas on these things. It's just crazy. Now, I would never really approach a Giga on one of these unless I was like... Unless I had a decent amount of health, but uh, I don't know. It could be pretty fun. Ooh. Holy crap, it nearly fell on me. All right, let's see. I'm very tempted to just pump movement speed, but I feel like that would be a little bit ridiculous. Maybe I'll do that with one eventually. I'm pretty sure one of those kangaroos back there could just be fully pumped into movement speed. Just just to have kind of like a bit of a jokey kangaroo. I don't know. <laughs> You'd probably die instantly. I know they take reduced fall damage, but like, goddamn, movement speed, like max movement speed on an imprinted kangaroo would just be ridiculous. 
Oh my god, we just knocked that guy way back there. Look at that. Like, imagine if you had a base up here, actually. This spot would be perfect. If you had a base up here, enemies are coming in, you could just run around with, like, little squadrons of, like, kangaroos and just knock them straight off the cliff. And then they just soak up your turrets a little bit more or whatever. I don't know. That could be fun. Let's, uh, let's go over here. This is the GE graveyard. If you guys aren't familiar, we haven't actually buried anything here, but, uh, there's something... Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, so, uh, I think Axeman made this. Very creative names. Um, Axeman made this, so you put, like, a tombstone, and then you put a small crop plot. Kind of looks like a little bit of, like, dug-up soil or whatever. I think it's a great idea. I just haven't buried anything here yet. Ugh. All right, we took a little bit of damage there. How much? Definitely not that much. We weren't full. All right, let's kick the crap out of some more stuff here. Look at this. Like, holy crap. <laughs> There's a Spino over there. Should we go get him? Let's go kick the Spino into the water. Are we gonna land on a sail? Uh oh. <laughs> All right, come here, buddy. Oh, you're fighting other stuff? I'll help. Actually, as well, this might help if you're like taming stuff and stuff keeps running into the water. You could like kick it back onto the land or something. <laughs> that could be a thing. Now, uh, people have been telling me that these do not um, actually inflict torpor when they kick, but uh, I would imagine that that's going to be a change at some point. He's going to run all the way in there. I'm going to have to swim for him. Just do that instead. Much easier. So, yeah, that could be a change at some point, maybe. I'd imagine, like, if you got kicked in the face with a kangaroo, like, by a kangaroo's foot, like, not only is it going to rip open your guts or something if, if those claws catch you, um, but, you know, it would probably also break your face and knock you out. <laughs> I don't know. Kangaroos are apparently extremely strong. I don't know a huge amount about them. They just look really cool. We don't have them here in Ireland, so... Uh, let's kill some... Brontos! I imagine if kangaroos were around back then, they could probably kick a Bronto. That could be a thing. Yeah. Oh my god. I wish I did more damage. That would be great. Look at this. I'm doing like wimpy damages. Maybe I should just shoot him a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of shooting. Uh, let's start kicking him now. You better run. Stupid. Come back here. Come on, die. 114. You're gonna be a decent few levels at least, I think, possibly. I wonder if you can knock back alphas as easily with this thing. Okay, let's kill you. You know what? These these would definitely be very useful as like an early game team. Oh, I didn't mean to kill it myself. Damn it. What level is their saddle? Cop 23, yeah, this is definitely a super easy uh, early game tame. All you need to really tame one is like a bola to like stop it from moving, and then like you could definitely do this with a crossbow. I think you'd have crossbows unlocked at like 23. I think now you do at least. I'm not exactly sure though. Um, Alright, let's go down the river here a little bit. I love this freaking jump though. Look at this. What is that, a carno? No, it's a galley. Oh, hey, an egg. Uh, it's a Trinodon egg, whatever. I already have those. Get! No! Leave me alone! <laughs> oh, God, they're everywhere! Why am I getting, like, weird stutteriness in the game? Freaking Microraptors are everywhere. Did you guys see that? There was, like, ten of them. Not really. I think there was about five, but still! It felt like ten. Get the crap out of this galley. Yeah. Ah, we almost had him. Yes, we got him. All right, we're feeding the dillos, and now we kick the dillos. Yeah. Come back. No. Let's get him. No, come back. Stupid freaking fast galley. All right, he's dead. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We got four levels. That is poop. Wow, it's going to take a while to level one of these things. It takes a while to kill things, so it's definitely going to take a while to level on him. Hmm, there's a Spino over there. What level are you? I need Spinos for the next TLC. Never mind. Level 42 is crap. 
Also, I do still plan on doing a Spino army. I know we've already beaten the bosses, but of course, like, I do still plan on doing like different armies versus the bosses. Like, I, I want to try out some Megatheriums, of course. I want to try out Spinos, especially after they get their TLC. Um, and then I also want to try out, uh, what are they called? Therizinos again. I think Therese would be really fun. Let's kill this dude. Nice. We got a Dire Bear here. Kick the crap out of him. But yeah, um, we got we to gotta plan for that next TLC. Not sure when it's coming out. I imagine it's probably going to be like a month or two. I hope it's going to be like a month or two. That would be great. You know what? With these new TLC patches, it would be great at some point if they would like release a new dino as well. That would be really fun. Because like the last new dino that we got that wasn't part of Aberration was like the Phoenix and the Otter. I think the Phoenix came after the Otter though. So like I guess the last dino that wasn't part of a DLC was the Otter and that was that just feels like ages ago. It was like August I think. Oh my what the hell I walked around that tree and then I lagged back into the tree. So confusing. I think it's because my kangaroo is so fast. But yeah I think it would be great if they were just like release some new stuff like uh I don't know. I guess Arc is fully released. They don't really need to to like go ahead and release new dinos. They could easily just update every single dino to get them up to scratch and then they could just be done with it. I'm not exactly sure their what their plans are with the game, but um hopefully that's not it. Hopefully there's gonna be some new content at some point. Besides just DLCs. What else we got? Oh my god, you're super hurt or are you just that color? I think he's just that color. He looks super hurt though, seriously. Alright, let's kick the crap out of him. Yeah, we're still not doing enough damage though. I feel like I'm gonna need a lot of levels into its uh, into its melee damage to be able to do anything. So I don't know. I kind of feel like this is not a great battle creature. It's probably just amazingly good at just knocking creatures back and defending your base. What is happening? Oh, I'm way down, okay. Go ahead and do this. It's also pretty good at gathering as well, actually. Nice. Alrighty. We got a Paraser over here. Get the crap out of you. Alright, we got bugs over there. That's really fun. Hey. Go ahead and just get kicked over there, bugs. Stupid. Die. Alright, we got a Carno too. No, no, fight me. Don't eat that. Stop healing. All right, we got him. <laughs> I'm so confused. All right, uh, what do we got? We got a Bronto over there. Hmm, we got one more level. God damn it! There's oh wait, no, we got two. They're coming in so slow. Yeah. What is that? Is that like a Raptor? Oh, I think it is. Yeah. Also, the Raptor is getting a TLC. We just don't know when, but uh, I'm really excited about that. I think the Raptor could definitely use uh, some new abilities and everything and I think when we do get the Raptor TLC I think it's probably time for a uh, a Craptor TLC you know we'll make ourselves a new Craptor and uh, and yeah we'll check it out with the new TLC bonuses and whatnot but uh, we don't even know what it's getting or anything I just I hope it's gonna be amazing oh no 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 why no oh I killed it okay stupid micro Raptors I don't even understand like what is the point of those things in the game <laughs> so stupid and I'm not the only one, by the way, who hates them. Um, a lot of people in my comments from the last episode, what was that, the Dire Bear one, I think? I don't even know which one it was, because they've all just kind of just blended into the same videos in my memory. Um, but yeah, like, in the episode where I was complaining about those a couple of videos ago, uh, a lot of people in the comments were saying, like, yeah, they also hate it. They don't mind so much getting knocked off, and I don't either, but it's like having to be stunned for 10 seconds after you get knocked off. It's just really dumb. Like, maybe if it just, like, stunned you on the spot and you could still shoot? I don't know, like, I just... There's no way to defend yourself against them. There really isn't. I don't know. Maybe having, like, a shoulder mount would stop them. That could be a cool new uh, nerf for the Microraptors. Because they really are quite annoying. I don't know. I just... I don't understand their purpose. Maybe it's just me complaining because I don't like them. <laughs> oh, man. Alrighty, well, you know what? I think I might go ahead and call this video at this point here. I was hoping that we'd get some more levels and become really OP, but it's not really happening. Like, their melee damage doesn't go by much at all per level. So, I don't know. Maybe we could use them for something else. Possibly, like, 
just running around and like gathering stuff. I mean, they're pretty good at gathering wood and everything, and they're super fast as well, which is great. And the fact that they can jump is is really really good because you can just jump over absolutely anything. You see a spino on the beach, don't want to deal with him, just jump over him. Probably took a little bit of damage there. I'm not exactly sure how much. Yeah, let's kick that guy. All right, never mind. I was gonna kick that other dillo. Now I'm stuck in something. Oh hey, it's a packy. Yeah. All right. Let's uh let's head on home then. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, we'll be seeing you in the next one. Also, remember the names. Names of all the kangaroos.